Hey there, my friends. I have something a little unusual for you today. Uh, a friend of mine is a teen librarian and gave me the Star Spinner Tarot because the creator of the Star, uh, Star Spinner Tarot, who goes by Trungles on social media, Trung Li Nguyen, um, is an, also a graphic novelist and created this young adult book, The Magic Fish. Um, so she had read this and loved it and found the deck and, and gave it to me, which made me then go find <laughs> the magic fish and read it. Um, and I really wanna share it with you for a number of reasons. One, um, re just, I'm gonna talk about the tarot deck. I'm really gonna sort of gush about this book first. Um, it is a graphic novel that uses fairy tales um, to tell the story of a young gay Vietnamese teenager and his mother um, and their family and how they connect through stories. And they have, you know, the, the, the characters use stories to both communicate with each other, but also the mother who's an immigrant uses it to uh, work on her English um, so that they can communicate with each other. And I just, it was so, it's such a beautiful, I don't, I, I don't want to sort of show you too, too much because I don't want to reveal, but it is gorgeously written. And, and I didn't, I've never actually read a graphic novel before. And people have recommended them to me, but like in the, in just like in the scheme of life, it's like, yeah, I should read these graphic novels. And then you just never do. Um, but I didn't know you could tell stories this way. It was really fun to experience them this way. But also, you know, as a kid, I, you know, I mean, if, if I had had books like this when I was a kid, I would have felt so much more seen. Uh, and, and life would have been so much less difficult. So I just loved this so much. Uh, and it's about being a young gay kid. It's about being an immigrant kid. It's about being uh, um, specifically Vietnamese. Uh, it's about immigration. It's about parents and children. There's some, like, dealing with religious fundamentalism in it. There's some... Um, oblique homophobia issues addressed. I mean, it's, it really, it packs so much into this, just this beautifully designed, drawn, illustrated thing. And it tells stories, um, fairy tales, uh, including um, a Vietnamese version of um, uh, The Little Mermaid. Uh, it's so, it's so wonderful. Um, so I cannot recommend this enough. I I loved, loved, loved it. I adored it. And I just really wanted to share it with you. And what it did was also make me appreciate this deck. So I had known about this deck. And it's many things that I appreciate in a deck, which is that it has diversity um, with, I would say, with the exception of uh, disabilities. And it's queer friendly, if not queer forward. And it's gorgeous. And I just never got it because I don't tend to, when I, I don't read for myself much. When I read, I'm usually reading for others. And this is not a deck that I would necessarily pull out for a client I didn't know. Um, but what I will say is that I would use this on someone who's like, I'm a little nervous about having a reading or, or when reading for myself, because it really, really is beautiful. I, you know, I would say, I think the thing that kept me from it is that the suit of wands is all fairies and I was like okay you know it's like what when when people think of me I don't think they think of cute as a or whimsical as like a a, a thing I reach for you know so but I do love it uh so we're gonna walk through it right now but get this book read it share it with your friends follow trungles on um on Instagram and uh just so so good Trung Lin Nguyen um, and I just am in love with this work. And I, again, just, you know, if you have a child, um, this is the kind of book they should be reading right now, I would say. So bravo. So let's take a looky-poo at the tarot deck. Um, so beautifully packaged in a magnetic box. And the, I love 
the major arcana in this deck. I really love it. Um, so we're going to look at it now. Um, the little book. I actually did not look at the book, which I intend to do. And in fact, there was a card that made me wonder... No, it's not. I wondered if they referenced specific um, references. I'm going to zoom. In. So here's the back. Um, it's really pretty. It's very pink. It's a little... It looks like it's a little um, iridescent, almost. So we have the Fool. The Magician. The way that this artist draws hair is so gorgeous. It's like, it's just so fluid. I love it. And, and the, again, th these majors are gorgeous. Look at this Empress. This is what I want out of an Empress. You know, this is an Empress. And I love this Emperor. I really love these majors. I don't think there's one that I didn't like. Fence. I just want to make sure this is still in frame. So there are several lovers cards. There's this lovers card, this lovers card, which is the one that I intend to keep in the deck because holy crap, that's beautiful. This one and this one. Really, really breathtaking. What I also love about this is you can interchange them based on who you're reading for. Um, chariot. Cats. Just very beautiful. I mean, I hate the word very. Look at the way that he draws hair. I'm. Mean, it's just so good. This is, you know, this, when I was a child, I would have been obsessed with, I mean, obsessed with, with it now, especially the book. But, like, this is everything I would have wanted out of a tarot deck if I were a kid who were, who were a tarot reader. And I don't mean that it's juvenile. I mean that it speaks to the kinds of things that made my heart sing when I was young. This death card is gorgeous. Cardstock is a little thick, th thicker than you might expect, um, and it's 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 mostly matte. I, I'm not getting a lot of glare. I like this devil a lot. I like this devil a lot because it's neutral. And if you watch my videos, you know why that's important to me. The tower, the star. This moon is gorgeous. The sun. Judgment. And the world. And so here we get into the suit of wands, which I think is the thing that kind of was made me like not really pursue it. Um, but it's, it's very cute. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. It just made me go, oh, that's very cute. Um, I love this. Subjectively not my favorite suit of wands in tarot history, but it is very sweet. And I think maybe why I respond to it that way is because the suit of wands is fire, I don't associate that with sweetness. And and that's just, again, a purely taste thing. From an art perspective, it's beautiful. This Queen of Wands is amazing. This King of Wands is amazing. And now we get into chalices in this deck, which is all mermaids. Which makes sense for water, you know? So like that, to me, this feels more watery um, than the fairies do for fire. But I kind of get it, too, because, you know, magic, fire is kind of a, a magical uh, thing. This I sort of love. And this, it, I, I think this is a reference to the version of um, the Little Mermaid in The Magic Fish in the book. Um, so I won't spoil it. This whole situation feels very Little Mermaid as well. And this. 
I'm glad I actually read The Magic Fish before I looked at the deck um, because it made me go, oh, I see what you're doing, you know? So in a way, like you don't need the book, but like to read The Magic Fish and to sort of understand how the artist's perceptions have been shaped by these stories and then how that shapes the deck really made me see the deck in a different way. That's beautiful too. I could see this being a gorgeous tattoo. And that's amazing. The kings and the queens in this deck really strike me. Beautiful. Again, this has like a Sleeping Beauty feel to it. This is beautiful. I think the sword suit is my favorite. Um, look how beautiful this is. I really like the suit of swords in this deck. It's also the most obviously Rider Waite Smith influenced, which is interesting because normally that doesn't register with me. I like this so much. It's like incubus situation. Again, look how beautiful the queen is. The suit of coins is really gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Come on. A little Rapunzel situation. So there are these kind of obliquely fairy tale connections to a lot of the cards. Um, and I imagine if we're to get more graphic novels, we might see more of these fairy tales. What's interesting about fairy tales is that they do exist in many, many, many cultures, similar stories with, with little differences. And they, those little differences are really very, very cool. I love this. Pardon if you hear background noise of the air conditioners on because it's gonna be hot today. So that is the Star Spinner Tarot. Let me just zoom back out so I can bring the book back in. So again, I would really, really recommend this book. And if you have this deck, you're going to feel more connected to the deck, I think, by reading this story. The deck, I really, really like it. It, you know, just because of what kind of reader I am, this probably is not going to shoot to the top of my, um, you know, client decks. But I really think it's gorgeous, um, and I'm happy to have it. And I'm happy to have the experience of watching elements from this book sort of weave their way into this. And and as a writer, as someone who loves stories, a, a, a story about stories to me is always exciting. Um, and as a storyteller, to have had my first experience with a graphic novel with this beautiful book was very cool. Like I said before, I didn't know you could tell stories this way. I just assumed, I guess, that um, they were like overblown comic books, which now that I think of that is like super snobby. Um, and there's nothing wrong with comic books. Again, it's just, I wasn't raised on them. You know what I mean? Like my parents aren't, com I feel like that's a thing that you either have friends who do or your parents have. And like, I didn't know anyone who read comic books. Um, and as such, I never knew anyone who read graphic novels or manga. So it, it was just a thing that I never was exposed to, but what a, what a brilliant way to explore. And oh my God, I'm telling you, if you have a queer kid, just like to be seen <laughs> and to feel like a story's about you. Um, and, and kids of immigrants, you know, I mean, the, the world is so hostile towards immigrants right now. And, a story that just shows the struggle and the beauty, you know, of family. And, um, anyway, I love this book and the deck is gorgeous and I'm very happy. So thank you to my friend Liz for the deck and for recommending this book. Thank you to the creator for making it and thank you for watching. Be good.